Hey and welcome everybody to the second lesson of Home Science Class 11. Here we'll be talking about understanding the self. This lesson, understanding the self, is basically made up of three parts A, B, and C. The A part is what makes me I. So in the part one, we'll talk of the A part, what makes me I. Are you getting a bit confused? What makes me I? Yes. I is probably the most important word in the dictionary but the most confusing one also we are all confused about who we are and especially in adolescence. So the learning objectives of this lesson is and it's an important lesson importance of knowing oneself and the significance of the positive sense of self. This positive sense of self it impacts on your confidence your personality and everything. Now the factors that influence the development of selfhood and identity will be talking of all these words, especially adolescence which is critical for the development of self and identity. Adolescence is the most important period of your identity formation and characteristics of self during infancy, childhood and adolescence with special emphasis on adolescence. See, this is the question mark, who we are the sometimes we are in a nice mood and sometimes we are not and why is it all like this we have to lift our personality we have to lift our egos and then work hard see understanding of self in your syllabus also it is given in four headings the first one is what is self how do we define self so we'll be dealing with the four dimensions personal dimension social dimension self-concept and self-esteem Whenever you prepare for your exams, you must be thorough with all these topics. So, as usual, first, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And second, get your notebook and your pen for your notes. On this channel, you can prepare your notes side by side. Just take the screenshots or pause, note them down. The second is, what is identity? Where we'll talk of personal identity, social identity. Development of identity, identity crisis, real versus ideal self, influences on identity. The third thing we'll deal with is the characteristics. Self, characteristics of what? Self during infancy, then the characteristics of self during early childhood, then the characteristics of self during the middle childhood and lastly, the characteristics of self during adolescence. After adolescence, most of us are uh, mature enough to understand about our identity. Then we'll talk of sense of self and identity, the various influences on identity formation. What are these influences? These can be biological and physical changes, social cultural context, emotional changes and cognitive changes. Now let's begin without any further delay. See. What is self? When I talk to you about what is self, what are you, all of you might be giving me different uh, characteristics. Some of you might say, I am a student, I am a sportsman, I am a friend, then I am a Hindu, I am an Indian. Some of the students will say that I am very loyal. Somebody will say, I am a good actor, I am a good mimicry artist, but my temper is short. I am very fun loving, I love parties, I am an introvert, I am an extrovert, I like to play carom, my favorite subject is biology, I am a family person. So this is self and you have so many aspects of yourself. These aspects are basically divided into first the physical aspects, then something about your relationships feelings and emotions and finally the performing actions. Performing actions may what all is included that you are a sportsman, you are an actor, you are a student, then you like to run, you are an athlete. The physical aspects, again you are a student, then I am uh, tall, I am fair, I have long hair. These are all physical aspects. When we talk of loyalty, short tempered, no sorry, loyalty then it is relationship i am very friendly i am an extrovert this is about relationships and feeling and emotions i am short tempered i am very emotional uh, i am fun loving uh, and 
I like to party. I am a party animal. I am an early sleeper. Uh, I love my family. These are all your feelings and emotion. I get depressed very easily. So it is a complicated self. Okay, na? So let's try and understand what is self. Sense of who we are and what makes us different from any everyone else. Who we are? Can you tell me who we are? Again, you will say that. Uh, who we are me i am a friend i am an indian i am a bengali i am a goan so this is something very general but even then aren't we all different from others so what is it that distinguishes me from others and what distinguishes me from others is the self the sense of who we are so it refers to the totality of a person's experience whatever we have experienced learned till date ideas thoughts feelings with regard to herself or himself i might think that i'm very good at drawing i'm very good at maths but it might it might be true it might be uh, over exaggeration and it might be underestimation also so these are the three things you might be somewhere here some people might think that you are over confident you expect that you are higher than what you actually are and some would say that you are lower than actually you are but the finally what is self is who we are what we think we are so it undergoes a change as a person grows and develops from infant to an adolescence as we grow our uh, whatever we learn whatever our ideas are the people we come through our experience they teach us and transform our self so it is the characteristic way in which we define ourselves it is the idea that we hold about ourselves and it is multi dimensional in nature we already saw that it is multi dimensional in nature so multi dimensional what do we mean by multiple dimensional the first is that we have a personal self and the second is we have the social self the personal self is this and social self what we are in the society this is social self so personal self refers to those aspects which relate only to you that is what is your name your characteristics your habits your opinions your values what you think of the society what you think about yourself this is all your personal self and nobody else is involved in your personal self the social self it refers to those aspects where you are involved with others for example it includes aspects like sharing cooperation support unity being friendly being loyal so here social self is there in your business dealings with your friends it's with your families your profession this is your social self where you are dealing with others also okay so once we are clear with the self then we have to identify who am i and this is identity so what is identity it is who am i so self identity it refers to the stable and prominent aspects of one's self perceptions why have i written stable because i said identity keeps on changing the self it keeps on changing but as you grow older one of you might say that i am a very good dancer i love music so these are basically the stable pers- uh, dimensions of your society these are uh, personality and these are the prominent aspects of your uh, self perception how you perceive yourself so we mean maintain continuity and sameness throughout our lives despite the many changes and discontinuities in life so identity it remains more or less same we keep on adding to it for example when you are young uh, uh, example uh, you might have performed in the class and somebody might have said wow she's a good dancer you came home you told your parents they sent you to a dancing class you took part in the competitions and it only uh, it only made your identity more clear and stable and prominent that you are a good dancer so this identity is a self of who we are and we carry it throughout our lives so identity continues to evolve it keeps on evolving but some things are more stable than the other over the course of an individual's life okay so from the identity we have a few more concepts the first is self concept and self esteem okay self concept this is self concept and this is self esteem 
both the people are living looking into the mirror but still self concept and self esteem are two different terms self concept is the description of one self where we answer the question who am i this is something we are answering to ourselves and not to others we think of ourselves what we are capable of your class you are in class 11th you have to decide what you are capable of what you are going to do in after class 12th what you are going to achieve where do you see yourself in 5 years from now it includes your gender your name personalities your flaws your appearance beliefs nationality strengths your likes dislikes this is all included in your self concept but in self concept there is no evaluation it is the cognitive aspect by cognitive is aspect i mean that it is your knowledge of yourself aap apne ko kisi dusre se compare nahi kar rahe ho apne aap ko analyze nahi kar rahe ho apne aap ko evaluate nahi kar rahe ho aap sirf ye keh rahe ho ki main ek bahut achhi dancer hu main maths mein bahut achhi hu abhi tak aapne compare nahi kiya so this is self concept where there is no evaluation it's only the cognitive aspect that you know you have this in you it is not intentional and so it's not that easily influenced but when we talk of self esteem this is one aspect of self concept this is self concept i told you this boy is looking into the mirror but the way he interprets himself in the mirror that is self esteem he is looking in the to the mirror he knows it i am 5 foot 8 inches i am wearing a black black jacket i am carrying this i am going to my job this is all these are the facts but here this lady is looking into the mirror and she thinks that she is very fat this is low esteem you think yourself as low than what you are and this boy he thinks of himself as a superman so his self esteem is high so important aspect of self concept to so self concept agar itna bada term hai to uska ye jo chhota sa part hai this is self esteem it refers to our judgment of ourselves what we think we are in comparison to others so it depends on the standards we set for ourselves if this lady she wanted to be of 60 kilos and she weighs 80 kilos okay then she thinks is she is fat now if she this lady has a target of 40 kg and she is 60 then also she has a low self esteem but if she wants to be 60 and she is 60 then her self esteem is high so it is largely influenced by the society remember kuch time pehle it was zero figure chala tha so it is influenced by the society and it is the evaluation of one self in self concept there was no evaluation just remember there was no evaluation in self esteem you have evaluation so it may either have a positive or the negative view of ourselves if we have negative view of ourselves it is low self esteem if we have positive view of ourselves it is high self esteem and this is intentional self concept is not intentional so it is not influence it is basically factual but self esteem is intentional so self concept and self esteem are the elements of your self identity now we were talking of identity what is identity self concept we talked of self concept self concept is what we were what we are and what will be in the future it is more factual and it is composed of two elements the first is you can see i am an artist and the second one here you can see this boy is alone and the second one he is standing in a group so the first is personal identity and the second is social identity this is not exactly self the self kept on changing this is identity so personal identity it refers to the attributes of the person that makes her different from others why you are different from others for example gender age whether your hair is blonde it is black it is ash or who's your mother are you what are your hobbies what do you like what do you dislike i like cricket i like carrom i just don't like cards now what are your values or beliefs you believe in honesty are you punctual or you like to procrastinate things how have been your experiences the social identity it refers to those aspects of a person which link her to a group for example if you are a gujarati you are talking about a group that is you represent the group you are a professional you are a lawyer you are a teacher you are a hindu you are a muslim uh, you are an indian so these are all the things which link you to a particular group you could be a member of a club also that is also your social identity 
So this is external feedback and social, social identity again. It can be positive or negative. I hope you have understood it was a bit complicated, but uh, when you note it down and understand it with the examples I've given, I'm sure you'll be able to follow it. So thanks for watching. If you have liked it, do give me a thumbs up, share and comment for any improvements. Do, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video with the second part. Till then, bye-bye.